Hello there, Snipers227 here. I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've been really busy with uh, school lately, sports, and work. So I've not time to work on my game or any tutorials. But today I'm free. So I'm going to continue on our object loader tutorial. Or, um, yeah, object loader. Um, basically, what's wrong with our object loader is we can only load one object at a time. If we try and load more than one object at a time, you will see that we will quickly be um, confused because vertices will, because the way our object loader works is it's only meant to load one object at a time. So if you try and load two, it's going to combine the vertices and render it as one object, which is going to look pretty messed up. So, um,. So, we'll, sorry, so we'll see that when this loads, we'll see that the object or the vertices should be messed up. And basically, I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to load separate objects. Um, I'm thinking of scrapping the, yeah, see, you can't really, you don't see half the vertices are messed up. Um, because I'm using a small object like the cube or the sphere you can see that the vertices are messed up that's not really how the gun looks just take a quick look and I'll show you how it should look without the sphere um yeah anyways as I was saying I'm thinking of scrapping the model to map thing because after I show you guys this I think it'll be a lot easier to just load the objects in because what the model to map um, series does is it basically lets you load multiple models and create it into one map but you could easily do that by just loading the model and then changing the X and Y so just translating them so they look right which is what the model to map does so I guess it'll be a lot easier if um, we scrap that and, you, and after I show you this you guys could probably just start creating your own maps by loading different models so you see that this looks a lot more different than the one we had because the vertices are messed up so now on to the tutorial so basically we need to be able to dynamically add um, objects for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just gonna say we'll put like a 100 um, object limit so we're basically creating a hundred structures different structures of this so if this so if I took that out that would be equivalent to just having that so just one but we're gonna add 101 you could always change that value based on how many objects you need um, so the next thing we need to do is we're going to create a variable called int object num Mine's already there because I tried to basically I tried deleting all the code. I recreated this and I tried deleting all the code because I couldn't find an old build um, of the object loader. So you're gonna create an object num zero, and this is basically gonna keep track of how many objects we have in our scene or how many objects we're going to load. So we're gonna set a hundred, and next we're gonna have to go into he enter um, object loader dot h and make two make two slight adjustments we're going to put two variables called int num this is also going to keep track and that means we have to change okay. this accordingly give me a sec so and num. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to put num because basically what we're going to do is um I'll actually try here, I'll try explaining it's kinda of hard to someone rang the doorbell. Give me a sec. I'll just pause this. Sorry about that. So I'm back, so I'm gonna try now. 
explain this as best as I can. So, basically, let's picture that we have one section here, one section there, another section here. This section right here, where's the text? I have X. Y. Z. 1, F2, 3. Vertices. Faces. So we have scar. We have the scar. L. Let's say we load the scar. L. And over here we load the M9 model, and we load an M1911. These are just models. This would be. So this would be the first model. So this would be zero. This would be one, and this would be two. quickly copy and paste these over so basically the way this works is when we create one object automatically starts at zero so it's going to be object zero and it's going to create x y z face one face two face three vertices and faces which is what we're loading so when we load let's say over here we're going to need we can't just have, um, you know, random x and y's. We need basically for zero x, the first x and y, which is going to be x zero. The reason why it's zero is so it's unique to the scar l, so we know it's the first object of the scar l. So the x, all these x's are going to be the x coordinates for the scar l. All the y coordinates are going to be the y for the scar l. Blah blah blah. For the m nine, it would be x one. So we know that. X, um, the second object is the M9 X coordinates, and so on and so forth. So that's why we have to set it, or else, um, like we saw, all the vertices are going to get mixed up into one, um, into one big list, and it's going to try and load all the vertices for all three of them into one object. And we saw what happened when I tried loading the sphere and the scar L at the start of the video; it got mixed up. So that's why we have to sort of separate them. So by separating them, we put num because remember, num is going to track how many objects we have, and that's how we can tell if it's object zero, if it's object um, one, or object two. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. So you're going to take this and you're just going to put it after every object dot, or else it won't work because our object has a list of uh, 101 items not 100 because 0 counts as number so quickly copy and paste this and there so now that we separated them oops now that we separate them, the second step is to add over here. So basically, we're going to load, it's not going to load one object, it's going to load each object separately. So it's going to load um, object and then let's say zero first, and then number one, and then number two, so on, depending on how many objects we have. So that's why we need this to separate all the vertices and the loading. And now to actually load it, we're going to implement it is. See over here, we're going to put our object num, and we're going to add this line. We're going to write object num equals object num plus one because every time we load an object, we could we have to put this in here because every time we load an object, we obviously at the end after we load the object, we need to um, add one because that means so if it's set at zero, so it starts at zero, and we're loading the 
scar l it's loading loading and by the time he gets here the scar l is already loaded so we're going to set it to one so we have zero and then we have one but one right now zero scar l and one is going to be nothing so there's nothing in one so that's perfect because if we try and load one there's going to be nothing but if we try and load the zero value it's going to be scar l so object number we put at the end because this is when everything gets loaded we just need to um, increase it by one for the next so when it loads um, let's say I load the m9 it's going to be m9 is set to one and then it's going to be set to two and there's going to be nothing so we just increase it to um, so to separate basically the object numbers and keep counting how many objects we have in the scene so add that line object num equals object num plus one so whatever the object number is just increase it by one and we're going to head over to render and what you're going to want to do is when you're loading the object number instead of having it like this we now have two parameters so you're going to add object num and um, right here so we're going to put four int i equals zero if i is greater than object num i plus plus and so we're just going to make a for statement so it only renders the number of objects we have so if we have um, one object it's going to stop at zero and it's only going to load the first object so it's going to load render object and then this would be zero and it would load the first value which would be object zero so it would be say we load the scar l first it would load the scar l's coordinates using zero and that's why we have none because it would load um, the zero value in our object list or structure um, so that's why we put that and let's test it out I think that's it so if we render right now it's only going to load one I just want to test to see if it worked because like I said I delete all the code so I just want to make sure I put everything in before I test it So there's no errors loading up and yep so it worked perfectly fine and now I'm just going to load a bunch of objects and I'll show you that it actually loads multiple objects so we're going to load one two three four five six objects seem to be getting an error oh yeah object nine so we're going to load the scar L, a sphere, a mini village, I guess, hands, an M9, and I don't even know what that is. I think that's a M1911 or just a cube. Just wait for it to compile. And you could, I haven't added to my other ones, but you could add it to the other um, object loaders if you've attempted to make other ones this works and I think I might make another tutorial for this because um, I know that this might not work well if I won't spoil it but I might make another tutorial on this in the future so look for that but you can see that they're all separated we have the scar L we have the sphere all the vertices are there it's not combined like it was before we have our little village, we have our hands, we have the M9, and we have our 3D cube. So now using this you could probably get an idea how you can make a map using models. So if you made like a building, so say I made like the village was a building and then I had like maybe, I don't know, a hill over here, I could load the two and just change the I could just translate it, change the translations, 
so that they meet up and you could start building your own map so instead of using the model to map you could just use this method which would be a lot easier um, so yeah that's it if you have any questions um, please don't hesitate to inbox me or message me on YouTube on my, my YouTube account and uh, if you have any questions or, or um, concerns you could comment or ask me like I already said um, so comment, rate, subscribe. This is Snipers227 and I'm out. Oops, wrong button.